y'all. It is Sana Marie with the Evolve Talk Show. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday at 8 30 p.m. right here on Dominion TV. And stay tuned. We have an awesome show for you tonight. Hey y'all, it's Shauna Marie. Welcome to the Evolve with Shauna Marie talk show. I need you to make sure you catch us every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. here on Dominion TV. Make sure you download that app at www.dominion.tv and follow us at EvolveTalkShow.com. Download us on Apple, on Roku, and on Android. Hey y'all, welcome to the Evolve Talk Show with Shauna Marie. Listen, I need you to make sure you follow us on all of our social media outlets. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube at Evolve Talk Show. You don't want to miss it every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. on Dominion TV. Hey y'all, welcome to the Evolve with Shauna Marie show. Listen, I am so excited and I know you are too. Shout out to all of my Evolve girls. I love you, love you, love you, love you. <laughs> Listen, thank y'all so much, Listen for how you have supported, how you have loved on me, encouraged me, prayed for me. Thank y'all so much for all of your prayer requests. Listen, I so believe that God is going to do exactly Exactly what you have asked him to do. Listen, we delight ourselves in him. He gives us the desires of our heart and he wants to bless you. So I am waiting on those Evolve Girl testimonies, right? Listen, so shout out to our amazing sponsor for tonight, Miss Linda Burgess from Lincoln Heritage. So listen, y'all, I got to share something with you. Um, so I, I remember, I know I've gotten so many emails and testimonies from you guys about how you have struggled with seeing yourself through the lens of Christ, right? Sometimes we struggle to see ourselves fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. We forget that we're made in his image. So even when you go to look at yourself in the mirror, you're supposed to see a reflection of Jesus, not you, him, right? I remember being in this place where I wasn't seeing myself how God wanted me to see myself. I wasn't seeing myself through the lens of Christ. And I got so many emails from you saying, you know, I'm trying my best to see myself as worthy, to see myself as deserving, to see myself as beautiful, to see myself as gifted and purpose, but it's a struggle, right? And and what I'm what I'm learning is that let me just give you an example of of what has happened. I do this thing called 21 day crunk challenge for my crunk cardio gospel class. And what I've learned is oftentimes which we, we think that we're trying to lose a physical weight, right? Um, that, that we're trying to lose a, a physical thing, right? To, to look good, right? To feel good. And we're often saying, well, if I look good, I feel good. But here's what I found. In this challenge, I didn't tell them to get on a scale and weigh themselves. I didn't tell them to measure themselves. I didn't tell them to do anything other than put on the same outfit often and let me know how you feel. Pray for God to show you yourself through the lens of Christ and let me know how you feel. So we have it backwards. We don't look good to feel good. We feel good to look good. Somebody's going to catch that. We feel good from the inside out. So I have this amazing guest tonight. She's one of my co-workers and my sister in Christ. And I love our conversations. I love her testimony. I love her message. And because we are evolved girls trying to become who God has purposed us to be, our most beautiful version of 
of ourselves. It was important for me to bring her here, one, to empower her. Yeah, because she deserves it. And we're always looking to inspire our sisters. Um, but also to share her story so that you can be empowered and encouraged. Because the life that she has walked out is not a life that many are walking at her young age. So I, I want to bring on my friend, my sister in Christ, a mighty woman of God, who now is experiencing her first makeover. Yes! <laughs> Miss Kellyanne DeMar! Hey, Shana. Hey, girl! How are you? Listen, you look amazing! <laughs> Thank you! Listen, you look amazing. Thank you. Like, I feel amazing. You. That's it right there. Yeah, I kept hearing, I kept, I was trying to get myself together talking to y'all. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm trying to say it without, oh Lord. But I kept hearing the Lord say he's giving you a makeover. We, we, we know that what is manifested right now, about the fruition from God right now mm -hmm. is the outer. Mm -hmm. But I heard God say he's giving you a makeover from the inside out. Because the outside is supposed to emphasize the inside. Yeah. The outside is a reflection mm -hmm. of what's on the inside. So I want to thank you, one, for coming. Listen. Thank you the, for the makeover. Listen. Oh. It was gonna, fun. We're going to talk about it, baby. <laughs> Shout out to, and let me say this nationally on global television while we're here. Shout out to our official new uh, MUA and makeup artist, Miss Wasina Ferguson Thompson, yes, of Magical Creations, yes, Ma Magical Beauty Creations Boutique. Listen, yeah, y'all make some noise. Give it. You see our faces? Give it to him. Give it to him. Pose. Oh, Vogue. <laughs> yes, listen. We 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 love you, Wasina. Thank you. Listen, I, I love her because. Um, she has she has a heart after God's own heart, mm -hmm. and and she she shares a similar desire that I have to empower women, mm -hmm. and and we know that we're only enhancing our beauty, mm -hmm. but there's something about enhancing yourself and seeing yourself in in a different light. Oh yeah, in a different perspective, right? Um, so. We, we, we partnered with Wasina so she could give Kellyanne a much desired and wanted makeover. I remember you coming to me like, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we cut up so bad in school. We do. And so we're educators at Spartanburg Preparatory School in Spartanburg. And I listen, I'm the teacher that's like, do teachers really dress like that? So I dress like, like literally like this at school. She does. <laughs> Like, literally. I mean, she was even voted best fashion this year, so. <laughs> like, literally. Like, she said, where are you getting these clothes? Like, what? What? I need a makeover. Like, and that was 2021. And I just, when I partnered with Wasina, I remembered you saying that. Mm -hmm. But more so than that, God brought you back to me. Mm-hmm. And he was mm -hmm. like, her. Mm-hmm. And there's daughter. a reason. There's My a daughter. reason. Right. So... Why was, because you walked up to me, it, it, and it seemed like you were in a challenge place. Yeah, you were I've like. I've been challenged since about 2019. Yeah, that's good. Because one thing that some people don't realize is I actually moved wow. to South Carolina from California. Wow, big jump, big jump. Huge jump. Yeah. Um, My family had always talked about moving to South Carolina because my nephew's here. Um, but I never felt ready. Yeah. That's to move good. across country. That's good. I was like, I did it when I was about four and a half, leaving New Jersey, coming to California. Right. But I did not feel ready. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was, mm -hmm. but I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. But unfortunately, or actually more more so, it's now fortunately. Yeah. I want to say it's fortunate right, right now. Right, right, right. My heart right, was right, broken right. in October of 2019. Wow. Yeah. And it wasn't the fact that the man didn't reciprocate. Right. It was that he couldn't communicate it to me. Mm. I had to get, I had to finally email him and just ask what happened. Because right. he ghosted me. Right. And we had a friendship since 2014. Right. Right. And all of a sudden, nothing. Right. And I'm just like, like what happened? What happened? Yeah, I just need to know what happened. Yeah. And he told me he thought that I wanted something more than a friendship and all that. I'm like, right. It wasn't that he didn't reciprocate that. It's just he mm -hmm. couldn't just 
tell me. Right. Because I'm because you know me. I yeah. if you just tell me, I will be fine. I'm I'll good. move just on. I'll, I'm good. Be honest. Yeah, just yeah, be honest be with me. Forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was like the straw that broke the camel's back because I've had so many. Yeah. In my past, where it's just like yeah, I've actually was the girl who would go up and tell the guys that I did like them. Wow, really? Yes, I was that girl, bold. You bold. That was not me. I was, I like, was hey, very bold. Me, baby. <laughs> And then I would let wow. them know, and then I would leave it in their court. Wow. Balls in your court. What you going to do with it? Exactly. And <laughs> to be honest, a lot of the guys just ran away. Wow. Okay. I had one, actually, he seemed like he was interested. Yeah. But found out that my dreams were to be a wife and a mother. Yeah. And he said those were intimidating. Wow. It's in, it's intimidating to be who we're called to be, because nowhere in the Bible do I say was, do I see where it says we're supposed to be a girlfriend Side chick, mm-hmm. a cuddle buddy, a Netflix and chill girl. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm stepping on your toes. Okay. All right. All right. It says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. He finds favor. Isn't that what it says? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right. All and right. of course, I've always went to the book of Ruth. Yeah. Ruth was always yeah, yeah, the yeah. book I go to because I love the story of how Ruth and Boaz eventually came together. Right. And just how everything had to line up, which right. now that I'm talking about it, she had to right. leave her hometown to get Come on. to Boaz. She had to leave. She, not only that, she had to. She had to leave. I mean, she was a Moabite, so she had yeah. to leave perversion mm-hmm. and sin, and she she had to mm-hmm. leave some mess. Yeah. You know, the one thing that is unique about me right. is that I'm 35 years old. Come on, tell us. I'm ready for the story. Come on with okay. it. Let me go. Let me sit up. My popcorn. Y'all better get your popcorn <laughs> ready for this one, because you think people like her don't exist, but they do, baby. So, 35 years old. Never been in a serious relationship. Right. And I'm also a virgin as well. Part the car right there. Everybody, everybody make some noise. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. What? And I never, so growing oh up in a Christian household, you know, I was always taught, you know, you save it yes. for your marriage and everything like that. And then as I got older, I'm like, well, there's some other benefits to it. Come on. I don't, I'm STD free. Come on, say a little bit I'm now. child free. And the big one, I'm drama free. Oh, baby. That's the big one. <laughs> because I knew for my personality, right. since I've been desiring to be a wife and a mom since I was five. Five right. years old. Right. I kept saying I wanted to be June Cleaver, but with a job. Right. Which, as I got older, I realized that was Claire Huxtable. Claire Huxtable. Come on. So, I was I like, that's that. the mentality I wanted. Do you feel like God put that in you early? He did put it in yeah. me early. To the point, had to be because like, there were some times where you know some of that self doubt comes in. Yeah, because yeah, 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 you know, yeah. no one. I was always taller and broader than all the girls when I was younger. Yeah, like I had the idea that I had to be stronger than a guy for a guy to notice me. Yeah, doesn't work that way. That does not. <laughs> doesn't work that way. What did that do for? Because I know you talked about just being challenged with recognizing that you were beautiful. What so, was that like? For me, I've always like. I always considered my sister to be the most beautiful. Right. And that was, you know, the expectation. Right. Which I didn't always do my hair and makeup because mm-hmm. I'm more of like, they'll like me the way I look no matter what. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was mm-hmm. like a challenge. If you right. can see me, you know, messy bun, if you could see me without makeup right, 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 and right, still right. consider me beautiful, right. then you're the one. Mm-hmm. I love that. So. So was it, but was it challenging thinking that you weren't beautiful. It was. It was. Until I started realizing, like, there was times I would just stare in the mirror and just, you know when you would just stare and just watch your face morph? Yeah. But then I started realizing, I'm like, actually, I have a really pretty smile. I like my smile. I love that. I love that. And I, I really liked my eyes. And yeah. um, my great-grandfather is from Sicily. Yeah. So I have a lot of the Sicilian look. Yeah. Um, with the dark hair. I think dark you're eye. beautiful. Well, isn't, she beautiful you. isn't she beautiful, y'all? I have someone else who thinks I'm beautiful, too. Hey, we're not going to talk about that. But. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, this is so amazing because I want to park the car right here. Because oftentimes, even in this culture, in this um, society, we are taught that... Oh, you know, you you know, being a virgin is not cool, and it's you know, 
uh, you know, it's the thing you don't talk about or it's it's unheard of or nobody has kept themselves for the Lord. Or for... Well, to be honest, oh, there boy. have been some individuals who once I've told them, especially the women, they're like, we're keeping you that way. It's not worth it. Wow. So I start. So some people have actually like rallied like, you're going to stay that way. Until you're married. Until you're married. Yeah, that's powerful. I thought, I feel like that was God's And these protection. are people who are not Christian either. Right. Doesn't matter. Because they realize there's drama behind it. Yeah. There's too much yeah. expectation behind it. Right, 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 right. And the nice thing for my future husband yeah. Yeah. is that I don't have to compare yeah. him to anyone. But isn't it necessary for Ruth to have a Naomi? It does, and I had several Naomi's over the right. years. Right, so you just, God just placed Naomi's in your life because mm-hmm. Naomi was a mentor to Ruth. She, she was. She helped, her, she helped her get to a promise, right? Yes. So. But I started to be like Naomi and being bitter. Because mm. after. Call me Mara. Call me Mara because <laughs> That's what she said. after 2019, <laughs> my heart started getting hardened. Because mm-hmm. I'm yeah. like, I was the one who wanted the relationship and the kids. Yeah. That was my dream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else has dreams for like either fame, fortune, athletics, you know, going you to want politics. Family. I want a family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yeah, wanting it good. since I was five years old. Yeah. And it's like God, everyone, it's so I was oh reading books about relationships. Mm. I was observing others in relationships. It even got to the point where people were coming to me for relationship advice. And you're like, God, if you can hear me now, can you please send this husband and my family? Baby, please. Seriously. And it's just, it just like, why oh, I am it. I, I constantly it. able to give advice, but I don't get to experience it? Girl, hashtag me too, Lord. But feel free, even in this moment, feel free if you want to send him. Just, if you're watching. But I will say that, because there were several nights of me crying. Wow myself to sleep yeah yeah like just that yeah. loneliness yeah and also you have to be careful of like that inception where the thought just pops in your head and it festers you can't and it's unhealthy on it. yeah you can't you can't you once that inception's on there you have to give it to god first yeah it's like yeah. especially like the dark thoughts yeah the dark thoughts come in yeah immediately let him take over. those thoughts captive to the obedience yeah. of christ yeah 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 but yeah. the other thing is that you don't see both sides mm-hmm because the one thing that started mm, to get good. me kind of through everything is I kind of related it to when I would play with my Barbies. You know how you play yeah. with your Barbies and you can see everyone and everything at the same time? Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. God can see everyone and everything <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so I'm like, he could see me. He yeah. can see where my future husband is. Yeah, I'm missing. And I would be like, hey, God, could you um just let my future husband know that I'm thinking about him? <laughs> So, yeah, because he's omniscient, I'm not present, I'm not potent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's everywhere, all things at the same time. Mm-hmm. Listen, he's all powerful, like all knowing, like he's everything, like literally. Mm-hmm. And one thing I started doing is that when the green eyed monster would show up, mm-hmm. or yeah. when the loneliness started, I started that's writing good. letters to my future husband. Oh, that's, uh oh. I have a journal that's full good. of prayers, letters that's to good. my future husband park the car there because if you are that young lady right Mm -hmm. so because i'm 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 like that i don't write the letters but i do put out prayers Mm -hmm. and i've been doing it for years for my future husband like okay Mm -hmm. you you can you can as my pastor as my apostle says you can prearrange a marriage Mm -hmm. yeah i'm I'm gonna prearrange in the spirit yeah yeah. literally so if if you are that person, begin to do what she's saying, right? Like begin to write letters to him. Write letters. I love that. Or, and I, but the one thing I did have in my Bible was a list of you know the list, you know. Uh oh. And I actually had a very good friend tell me you need to tear that list up. <laughs> what what the, what the uh, lineup with what God wants? Exactly. Uh. That was the thing that I started to realize that's what was holding me back because I had yeah. my expectation. Yeah. My mind was yeah. meet the man by 25 after I graduated right. from college, have three boys. Yeah. You had it all laid out. I had a plan. <laughs> I had a plan. Wow. I didn't know wow. who it was, but I, I at least had a plan. Now, I don't have a list, girl. I don't have a list, but I do have some non-negotiables. There like, are, there is always three non-negotiables You can't me. be a not, you, yeah, what's, because, and let's talk about that, because here's the thing, a lot of times as little girls, um, even like TV shows, we're, we're taught the 
White House, the picket fence, the puppy, the husband, the kids, the car. That's a show, not reality. <laughs> that is not. That's Princess and the Frog. <laughs> that is not real. Alice in Wonderland, something. That is not, not it. It's not it. So we're, we're just... We just taught something and shown something because we've been like that our whole lives. Yeah. But it's amazing to hear you talk about the standards that God has given you. Because mm-hmm. we don't talk about that often. What 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 are the standards? You got to tell us this. Because what what has been the standard that has allowed you to walk in this type of purity? Because I missed it. <laughs> a lot of us missed it. No, let I'm. This is a this is a real I'm, this is a real show. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm very transparent with them. Yeah, raw girls, y'all know. Like, mm-hmm. what what allowed you to walk in this standard of holiness? Like, literally, there is a few things. First, I think it was my environment. Right, that That's was good. the first thing. That's but good. But even though I'm 35, I've been working with kids for 20 years. Right, right. And the first thought was always. I'm a role model to these kids. I had one student That's actually good. come up to me. She was like in sixth grade at the time. She's like, I want to grow up and be the next Kellyanne DeMond. And I'm like, oh, okay, the pressure's on. The pressure's on. Okay. Yeah. And I, I think part of me wanted to be that positive role yeah, model that some good. of them don't have. Yeah. Um, I also had... That's good. I actually, once I graduated high school, I started college three days later. Wow. So I kept myself busy. Mm, so through my good. early 20s doing college right then i went for my teaching credential right and then you know one school closed and right. then i went and got another yeah. job at a different school wow after being wow. at one for eight years wow. um, so not just busy yeah but busy doing purpose yes because we want to be like mary and not martha right yes we, we, we want to be busy But sometimes we're, Mar- we're Martha is trying to understand why oh, something's not happening. Yeah, we're trying to figure out why or, it's because we're too busy. Or sometimes yeah. we get into the mindset, and this is one that yeah. was so profound for me, is the prodigal son's brother. Mm-hmm. The one yeah. who's doing everything right. Yeah. Because there are times I'm like, okay, God, I went to college. I, got I did everything right. right. I did everything right. But, what's, what's not, but, what but did I it do be, wrong? But could it be that one and this entire show is founded on this, literally. The scripture, Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. Mm-hmm. God makes everything beautiful in his, his timing. timing. So oftentimes we get caught up because we're trying to um, walk into something that's going to take God's process. Mm-hmm. It's going to take God's development, his mm-hmm. growing, his cleansing, mm-hmm. his washing. Like, so, you know, I tell I tell my evolved girls, I'm telling you right now, you know, you know, what if God is processing him, mm-hmm. right? What if he's sanctifying him? What if he's developing him? Mm-hmm. What if he's been traumatized too? What if he's, listen, I believe that God has to bring your husband to a place where he's in such a relationship with him. Mm-hmm. That's how he knows how to love you. Mm-hmm. That's how he knows how to be gentle, how to have the fruits of the spirit, how to, mm-hmm. you know, how to have joy, how to have peace, how to have long suffering, how to have patience. Mm-hmm. Like, Goodness, that's how he knows how to have those things in an instant relationship with Jesus Christ. Like, if you're not that, I don't want you. Mm-hmm. Like, flat, like, flat out. Like, we, I don't want counterfeit. Mm-mm. I don't have time for potential. I, have, I don't have time for guys who don't know what they want. Yeah, I, I need you to love Jesus, too. That like, was the biggest thing was because yeah. I had the king of mixed signals who yeah. treated me like a girlfriend but without the title. Come on. I had... Um, Guys who seem like they're interested, right? And they're like, "I was leading you on." Wow, because and they were trying to get to the prize. Possibly because you're a challenge. I am a challenge because she's a challenge. When, when some guys you're found out that I was a virgin, oh they they completely ran away. Wow. So what do you say? I so hate we got to close. This is so good. It might be a part two coming, y'all. Mm. <laughs> for for about thirty seconds, what do you say to the person who is trying to hold on to? They're in that place. Like, I, I'm a virgin, I, I, but I'm being persuaded by the world mm-hmm. because you've been persuaded. Mm-hmm. So, but you, but you stayed. You kept, mm-hmm. you, you stayed, you stayed in a place of being kept by God for 30 seconds. What do you say to that girl who's being tempted right now, right there? If you're being tempted, yeah. first make sure you understand why you're being tempted. Did you come put on. yourself in that situation or did that situation come upon you? Yeah. The other thing. 
it's worth the wait. Come on, it's worth the wait. The reason I know that is because I now have a man who is willing to wait with me. Come on. Now, even though I'm a virgin, I never said my future husband had to be one. Yeah. Because, of course, I'm much older, and as time goes, it's kind right. of impossible. Wow. Almost. But it is definitely worth, worth because when I see him look at me, yeah. I can almost see God's eyes looking at me, smiling yeah. from ear to ear. The love of God. The yes. love of God. Thank you for that. She said it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. So here's the reality. If that's you and you're going, you know what? Golly, that, that's me. That's me. That's me. But I've been tempted. I haven't understood that I'm worth the wait. Mm -hmm. That it's worth the wait. Um, or you're someone that says, gosh, I don't know the Jesus that has kept her like that. Woo, baby. That's, I'm going. When I heard this, I was like, woo, my Lord. You know, I will always, we've had fun, but I will always oh, yeah. extend salvation. Because I'm about winning souls. Mm -hmm. That's my assignment, literally. Testimonies winning souls. Sharing testimony winning souls. So if that's you, listen. Literally, put it on the altar. God, I need you to keep me. He will, the Bible says he will keep you from falling. You don't have to fall. He'll keep you from falling. He'll keep you. He'll protect you. He'll cover you. If you don't know the Jesus that will keep you, baby, he's wonderful. He's amazing. He is mm -hmm. such a promise keeper. God, I confess in my mouth and believe in my heart that you hung, bled, died, and arose for me. I give you my life. Walk this life out with me. Every single day so that I can have salvation, forgiveness, and eternal life. Amen. It's just that Amen. simple. Right? You are the light and the salt. Be the light and the salt like Miss Kelly. And I'm telling y'all, she is shine, shining, sprinkling, sprinkling. And I want you to do the same, right? Shine, shine, sprinkle, sprinkle. Listen, join me next week, Wednesday, 8, 30 p.m. You're watching Evolve with Shana Marie on Dominion TV. testimonies and if you want to partner with us make sure you email us at evolvetalkshow.com hey y'all it's shauna marie with the evolve talk show listen our evolve girl merch is here you can now rock your faith and the declaration that you are continuing to embrace evolving into all god has purposed you to become that beautiful woman of god so listen go to evolvetalkshow.com Right here at the bottom of the screen and go order your sweatshirts, your t-shirts, your caps. Y'all, we're going to rock it out for God the dope way, the fly way.